Calgary, every game day for the Calgary Flames goes exactly the same way for fan Chris Ruback. Rubach, 44, puts on his special game day socks, first the right, and then the left. He has pants in a game day jersey bearing Johnny Gaudreau's name, having long replaced his Dion Phaneuf jersey when it stopped bringing the team luck, and the player left town. Then he pours coffee into his favorite Calgary Flames mug. Every game day, the exact same outfit, however, he does have two pairs of underwear at the ready for when back-to-back -back tilts are scheduled. The longtime fan follows this with a Facebook post proclaiming it game day for his friends. Then, 30 minutes before puck drop, Ruback turns on the lights in his viewing room. If he's not home, he uses an app on his phone to flick them on, revealing flames, flags and jerseys on the wall, and a poster that used to be in the NHL team's locker room, one that players would tap for good luck. This has been his ritual for nearly a decade. Like many sports fans, he hopes his routine will bring his favorite team good luck. This year, it seems to have worked, as the Flames enter the NHL playoffs Thursday, beginning their first-round series against the Colorado Avalanche with the team's best record since winning the Stanley Cup in 1989. Seeing as this is the best season we've had in how many years, I'm not about to quit for the playoffs. Ruback said. Nick Taphorn is another Flames fan who tries to create positive energy for his team, but in a more symbolic way. On every game day, Taphorn believes his actions have a karmic impact on the Flames, so he'll try to do kind things for people throughout his day, whether it's buying lunch or transit tickets for strangers, or even just letting someone buy him in traffic. This started when he was a hockey player and Taphorn would practice the same superstition before he hit the ice, I felt. If I didn't make a positive difference in somebody's life that I could have, then that would come back to haunt me during a game. Like something would happen, I'd screw up a play and we'd lose. Taphorn said, I know, obviously, it's all ridiculous. The players are the ones that control that. But at the same time, I feel like sending that positive energy out into the world will have an impact in some way, like a butterfly effect. Madeline Williams, an 18-year-old Flames fan, started her own tradition a few years ago after stumbling upon some good luck. Williams once correctly predicted the winner and the score of a Flames game before it started, even picking the goal scorers. So now she tries to predict the score of every game with her friends and family. Whether the prediction is correct or not, Williams said the team always seems to play better if she remembers to make it. Plus, it's something she can share with her friends and family, the whole experience of watching the game is already something that's really fun and interesting. Adding that part of the tradition of incorporating my friends and my family, I think, is just a way to bring us all together and enjoy the game together, Williams said. Four generations of Christopher McKenzie's family have also been brought together by Calgary Flames fandom and their own rituals. McKenzie, a 44-year-old fan, used to see his grandfather take a shot of whiskey before every Flames game, and his father wear the same jersey every time he watched the team. But unlike his father and grandfather, McKenzie's tradition can pull him away from watching the Flames. If I miss a game and I find out the one, I don't watch the next game. McKenzie said, if they win because I'm not watching. And all of a sudden I watch and they start losing, I'm like Jesus Christ, why I'd turn that hockey game on, I just can't bring myself to do it. McKenzie vows to continue this tradition in the playoffs. He often misses games to look after his three-year-old twin daughters, but now he's got them involved in all things flames. His kids sing O Canada before every game they watch with him and wear 1989 Stanley Cup Championship Flames hats. It's odd that you can say a hockey game can bring a family closer when you'd think other things should. McKenzie said, it just happens, it's like breathing, I don't know how to explain it better than that. It's something that's almost automatic now. You don't think about doing it anymore. Andrew Jeffrey is a reporter, photographer for Star Calgary. Follow him on Twitter, at Andrew underscore Jeffrey Report and air journalistic standards about the startup stories, delivered to your inbox, new N-E-W-S-L-E-T-T-E-R-H-E-A-D-L-I-N-E-S-S-I-G-N-O.